Hello and welcome to another Arkis video, the first summer special video of 2024 while I am out of town working and not able to play the game. This however is this week's race A in the Honda Civic a touring car at the Tokyo Central South and uh, yeah I jumped into this one completely without practice. Uh, did four races, tried to learn along the way and this is the highlights from these races. Certainly contained a bit of everything. This is a rather chaotic combo but I had a lot of fun doing it and uh, without further ado let's just jump into the first race. This is Wednesday afternoon. I just jumped straight in. I turned on the game so I had one minute until the first race started so I just jumped on completely without practice. So apologies in advance to my fellow racers. I am going to be clumsy in this one, but I will try my best to be careful. We're coming in to turn one, a corner you can take really fast. I cannot really see where I'm going, so I'm not really going through there really fast, but we've got cars ahead of us. And now I'm getting hit from behind. And uh, in a few moments, I'm hitting the wall there as well. And soon I will be dead last but at least I cannot uh, be in the way of anyone at the moment so I'll just try to stay with them and see if I can do something from here. We're coming through this very fast corner and uh, someone in auto drive there is causing a bit of chaos so I managed to sneak past and also sneaking on the inside of that car in auto drive and uh, we are going to jump ahead as I'm hitting numerous walls it's so easy to run wide on this track and just hit the walls but now we are catching up to these two cars who are battling a bit so we are quickly catching up to them and one of them is picking up a penalty as well so if i can just at least stay with them maybe i can pick up at least one position but now i'm struggling to find somewhere to go let's see can i see the corner I'm trying to be cautious, but uh, while I'm trying to be cautious, you, should, you can see the Spaniard is catching up now. They are on my outside and I couldn't keep the understeer in check. So that was me pushing them into the wall. I was feeling bad about this and uh, I was thinking that I might have to let them go. But I'm going to make a mistake here, so it's almost just solving itself and they are past. I didn't even try to fight that one. Now we are jumping ahead to uh, the final lap. We are coming through this fast corner. If you get it right, you can actually do it in sixth gear, but uh, I'm not doing much right at the moment. Someone was serving a penalty there. Now I'm on the outside of the German driver. That's a bit of a scary place to be. So I'm braking early, tucking in behind. And uh, now we've mostly got the final sector to go trying to just straight line this the best I can. Uh, it is a bit tricky to find the right lines when you've got a car uh, right in front of you. It can be tricky to see where you're going, but we are for the most part avoiding the walls. We've got two corners to go. This is a tricky one. You need to break early. You can see the German is running deep. Now I am on the outside. I'm hitting the wall as well. And uh, I don't really like being on the outside. I'm just tucking in behind. I couldn't get the run anyway. So we finished this first race in a rather non-impressive P9 starting from the back. So we are jumping on to the second race. I set a time between the two races, a really short time trial, but it managed to put me on pole position at least for this race. But I got a rather poor start and the Frenchman was getting a run on me straight away. I was sort of hoping that they wouldn't try to send it, but they did try to send it. I was turning in a bit, but they got the move done anyway. Uh, and uh, yeah, I am just a bit rusty and trying not to just go backwards, grazing the wall there as well. Now I was getting my hopes up as P1 grazes the wall there, but I grazed the wall as well several times. And uh, yeah, I just couldn't stop hitting those bloody walls. So. Uh, at least I get through this fast corner a slight bit better than P1, so we're starting to gain again, but unfortunately I'm back to hitting the walls. And now we are both going to mess up and here comes P3 flying through. So I'm mostly going backwards at the moment, 
Now I'll see if I can keep up with these two guys, but uh, this is midweek. This is my first attempt and uh, I am suspecting someone has been doing these races quite a bit. I got the line all wrong. I couldn't really see where I was going, so I'm dropping another position. And now it will be crowded for a bit, so we are staying on board. I'm trying just to keep up with this fighting pack, trying to find somewhere to go, as is the Danish driver. And uh, yeah, we are going way too many cars wide for this narrow track. We've got someone hitting the wall and uh, yeah, the French driver hit the wall and we all got tangled up and I'm going to pick up a barrier collision penalty. Luckily, it's only half a second, so it's not too bad. It could have been a lot worse. And uh, we are coming down towards the penultimate corner. Let's just break early. I hope the car behind uh, stays behind. That was a bit slow by me. I know we've got someone grazing the walls ahead. So we will uh, gain back uh, to them. Now we are going across the line for the third time. We've got the other Danish driver with a one and a half second penalty. And I've got a half second penalty. Let's just try to survive this chaos. Uh, it is really a bit chaotic. You really need to look out for your uh, safety rating as well, or sportsmanship rating, SR in short. Anyway, now we are coming up towards the fast corner up here where you really need to break early because you are coming over a crest. So if you break early enough, the car will stick and you can tuck it towards the inside and then power out of there. We managed to do sort of all right. We need to serve that penalty. So yeah, we are past the Danish driver, but we've got the Rustin driver going through there. Towards the end of the race, the French driver started hitting the walls. I was almost thinking if it was an Aki's imposter, but uh, yeah, I'm going to hit the wall as well, just to show how it's done. But uh, still, I think I am going to gain a position from them uh, having a one second penalty. So we finished that race in P4, but we started on pole position. So we were going backwards. This is race number three. Once again, a bit of a slow reaction time. I didn't manage to improve my time in between races. And uh, now uh, the French driver behind me is getting a run on me, but I've got the inside line. So I should be able to survive the first corner. Let's just try to avoid the walls at least. And you can see the Spanish driver is starting to run away from me already. We are jumping to the middle of lap three. Uh, unfortunately, I'm going to hit the wall there. And uh, yeah, the driver behind is starting to gain on me. We're coming down towards the tunnel. Maybe I should have defended that, but I decided to just leave the door open. But I was on the outside and they didn't do that big of an effort to leave some room for me so I got sent into the wall there but it could have been a mistake I did send someone to the wall earlier in this video so I'm not going to be mad about this towards the end P2 is going to pick up a penalty and I'm just eager to try to uh, get close to them so I graced the wall at the final corner so uh, yeah I couldn't gain that back so we finished in P3 and then I decided to go for a proper time trial session and since this race is still on let's just run through some brake markers. The first one is that sign up there. You need to just tap the brake and turn in. You really need to turn in just let the car coast. This is a good marker for when you need to turn in. I'm also lifting a tiny bit because it's easy to run wide through this long corner as it's downhill as well. Now we are coming up towards this really fast and rather tricky corner. So we are going to slow down things a bit. First, we've got this sign, this sort of a warning that you need to get on the brake before you go over the crest, because then you can let the car coast towards the inside, but you need to brake early to be able to do this. And I can stay in sixth gear this time. And uh, we managed to carry a decent amount of speed. Now we're coming down towards the tunnel. And here I am using this sign as a brake marker. Not much of braking, just need to get the car pointed in the right direction. And coming out of the tunnel, I'm using these stripes as a reference. Uh, down to fourth gear, but back up to fifth gear up the hill. That seemed to work out best for me. 
just trying to straight line this, get the line right, and you can stay flat as long as you get the right line. Now we're coming out of this tunnel, and I am breaking roughly at the middle of those dotted uh, lines there, and uh, tucking the car in towards the inside, and now we are breaking between this board and this board. And uh, I'm using these two yellow boxes, that one and that one, to know when I can get back onto the power. Those are sort of my inside line markers. And I managed to get a 124.091. So now we are on pole position with uh, quite a margin, and now I just need to keep it cool. I got a decent start compared to all the others, maybe something uh, went on back there. So at least we are okay for now. So if I can just hit my brake markers and hit the right lines, I might be okay for now. You can see P2 is right on my tail. They are hanging on to me. So there's no room for error, but I am keeping it cool. And I actually managed to keep it cool for quite a while. We stay on board uh, on this first lap. Uh, and they are gaining on me. I need to go slightly defensive, braking early, staying towards the inside. I need a bit of fifth gear this time just to keep the car in check as I couldn't get the line I really wanted while defending. Now we're coming down towards the tunnel. Now it's the Spanish driver who's right behind me. Braking early, coasting in, make sure not to hit the outside wall. Down to fourth gear, tuck the car in, back up to fifth gear, up the hill as it seems like the car is a bit more stable and this understeer and uh, yeah we are uh, pulling away a tiny bit but not much we've still got cars right on our tail now we've got the two final corners of this first lap and uh, yeah p2 is getting close to me i am not uh, warmed up yet when it comes to race pace i can feel that uh, but we are surviving and we are finishing the first lap. Now we are going to jump ahead because I managed to keep it cool right up until the final corner leading on to the final lap. And then, of course, it had to happen. Yeah, I hit the wall, lost all momentum and the Spanish driver just cruises past me. I'm down to P2 and this is the final lap. And unless they're going to make some sort of mistake, I will need to settle with P2. It's so tricky to pass on this one. And uh, yeah, P2 it is. No wins for me today. This is a rather merciless but also a fun combo. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and I will catch you next time. Bye bye.